Well hello and welcome to another video and welcome to my channel <laughs> Back out again at a location you guys know well, probably just as well as I do <laughs> Today wasn't really meant to be a video shoot I just came down to Waterside Beach with Lisa really for a day out just to enjoy the sunshine and go for a gentle stroll As you know I'm not allowed to do any strenuous exercise so a nice walk on the beach <laughs> Sounded like a good idea, but of course I had to bring the camera. Clear blue sky today with some white fluffy clouds. So I've been using a polarizer and I've been doing a lot of handheld stuff. Just rocks and stuff uh, with a blue sky, kind of a scenic shots of the beach from different angles. Uh, I might use them in my Fundy project that I mentioned way back long time ago. The Fundy project is ongoing. Uh, I'm getting a nice collection of images for that and uh, I will maybe do a video update at some point uh, pretty soon. You guys have seen me down in this beach before but I don't think you maybe realise just how much water moves in and out the Bay of Fundy. If I can find the actual numbers I'll put them up on the screen there for you. But it's such an amazing place. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site I believe. Um, but just take for example this rock here behind me guys. You see that rock there? Uh, I think Lisa's there too. But maybe that will give you a sense of scale uh, if Lisa's in the picture there. But that rock there in just a couple of hours probably probably three hours from now something like that when it ties in that rock will be gone it'll be totally covered so that's how much water's moving in and out of this place uh, absolutely amazing I just took an image from this side here 18 to 55 polarizer shooting wide uh, using this green slimy mossy seaweed stuff as a leading line in towards the rock there Lisa just yelled out and told me there's even more green on the other side, so that might make a nice image with the blue sky in the background. I'll take a look. But yes, the Bay of Fundy, the glorious Bay of Fundy. Uh, usually when I'm down on Waterside, it's, you know, overcast, cloudy, kind of dreary, uh, which I don't mind for certain shots, long exposures and stuff. Uh, and who knows, if we're still here when the tide comes in, I might try a long exposure, but I don't think we're going to be here that long. Uh, we'll go for a drive. So I think we'll call this video easy photography. <laughs> what could be easier than coming to the beach uh, handheld and firing off a couple of images, kit lens and a polarizer. Uh, no fancy kit required. Well, I guess Lisa was right enough. Just came round the other side of that rock and uh, have a look at that, guys. That green and the blue there are absolutely amazing. The green, the red, and then the blue sky. So I'm gonna take the camera off the tripod there do a few handheld with a polarizer on. So Fujifilm X-T30, 18-55, kit lens, uh, Tiffin polarizer, uh, usually shoot on aperture priority uh, around about f16, focus on something in the foreground to get it nice and sharp. Uh, so that's kind of the basics of the shot. So we'll see what we get guys. This is amazing. Lisa's firing off a whole bunch of pictures of me talking on the video here. So <laughs> You might see some of them, you might not. Guys, it's pretty hot down here. Ah, got the crocodile Dundee hat on even. <laughs> Guys, the importance of just moving around. You saw me move from one side to the other side of that rock when Lisa called me over. And I was about to leave, came around the other side again. So third side, and uh, I've got this shot here. I'm gonna move out of the way just so you can see it. So, uh, focused right down here at F16. Uh, obviously with those leading into the picture polarizer 18 to 55 kit lens and there you go uh, super short super easy uh, like I said that's the theme for today super easy photography not having to do any hikes not having to lug stuff all over the place just on the ca on the beach with my camera and uh, yeah you can do it anybody can do it 
get out there. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm going to go head back down the beach, back towards the car. Uh, not sure what we're, what the plans are, but if, if there's time, I might go up above here on the bank where you've seen me before and take a shot over the top of the beach, but who knows. Uh, we'll move further down the beach and I'll catch up with you in a bit. Guys, I'm going to end the video here. Hope you can hear me. I'm quite a bit far away. Uh, look at this. This might give you some kind of scale as to how far the tides come up in here. You saw the beach, how far out the tide is right now. I showed you the rock with my arm up in the air there. You can see how high the tide comes in. This is all going to be underwater. Uh, you can see the green seaweed there. So that's obviously going to be underwater. I fired off a picture here, the nice green, the red and the blue sky works quite well. So I fired off a few pictures there. More kind of abstracty kind of thing, you know. Not going to say fine art or anything, but this is absolutely amazing. The red rocks. And I don't know if you know this area or not, but... Oh, lose the hat. Whew. At sunrise, the sun's going to come up from over here and it really lights up this and you get a really nice red glow on the rocks which is absolutely spectacular uh, and also at sunset when the sun's setting down over the Fundy Park area there it lights up this side so you get some nice pictures that's maybe for another video I'm going to end it here guys it was meant to be short and sweet uh, don't want it to drag on so thanks again for watching uh, and I'll see you next time don't forget to like share and subscribe cheers for now